Another busy day begins at international recruiting firm Harvey Nash's Asia Pacific office, based in Hong Kong. In just three years, its roster has grown fivefold. Our clients are mostly multinational companies from Europe, uh, the UK, and the, and the United States or North America. Those companies are currently and continually looking to invest in Asia. They do see China as still a very important part of their business. At the same time, ASEAN, the whole of the Southeast Asian region, has grown in importance during the last few years. And so now China and ASEAN are both seen as equally important. Asia's middle class has ballooned to over 500 million, more than the total population of the European Union, and MNCs are noticing. Companies are looking to upgrade the quality of the people that they've hired, that they have running those regions or countries. They're looking to bring in better quality finance directors, sales directors, heads of supply chain, heads of operations. But it's fair to say as well that many or even most of the bigger multinational companies are looking for really good local talent. They don't just want expats. They want great Chinese leaders, they want great Malaysian leaders, they want great Hong Kong leaders. They want all of those but they want people with international mindsets and great communication skills. While enthusiasm abounds amongst foreigners who want to break into China through Hong Kong, experts say it's really the next four to five years that determine whether this high level of expectation is matched with the right level of growth. It's moving from an extensive type, export-oriented type of development, or high growth development, to a more intensive energy reserved and uh, environmental friendly, more sustainable type of development. Hopefully with the same kind of growth rate, uh, but maybe slightly less. This is not just something you can say and change overnight. It involves a lot of changes, both socially as well as economically. Kwan adds that this is also a decisive moment for Hong Kong. Though it topped the World Bank's 2014 Ease of Doing Business report, so did another formidable regional rival, Singapore. During the transition, Hong Kong have to adapt ourselves to them, otherwise we'll miss out the boat. There are new opportunities like China now want to open up more to the world in terms of these services, not just trade and manufacturing. We help them to connect with the rest of the world in the finance side, in the logistics side and in other services, the legal services, arbitration services, uh, professional services. All these are new development areas in China that need to be roamed and uh, expanded. These are services the Asia-Pacific region will also increasingly demand, though Deborah Biber, a longtime business interlocutor in Hong Kong, says the regional momentum doesn't necessarily guarantee success. I think one of the biggest issues is, is the lack of research and the lack of understanding of the market. Everybody thinks that China is the big game, and it is the big game, but it's only the big game if you actually know what you're doing. And in a city that never sleeps, Hong Kong will remain that entry point for so many. Kumada Ramanathan reporting for World Finance in Hong Kong.